Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe has been reacting strongly against Korean National Assembly Speaker Moon Hee Sang's remark during an interview that the Japanese Emperor should apologize for the sexual slavery of Korean women during World War II. But the Korean politician answered that he had just spoken out his opinion in the interview. Prime Minister Shinzo Abe, who attended the budget meeting at Japan's House of Representatives, continued his attack on South Korean National Assembly Speaker Moon Hee Sang for two straight days. He protested strongly, claiming that the Japanese people would have been angered by Moon's interview with Bloomberg, in which he said the issue of comfort women would be resolved if the Japanese emperor, the son of a key war criminal, apologized to the Korean victims of Japan's wartime sexual slavery. The Japanese prime minister referred to the 2015 bilateral agreement reached between Seoul and Tokyo on the comfort women issue. Speaker Moon, who is in the United States with a delegation of Korean lawmakers to discuss the North Korea nuclear issue, explained what he meant by the comment. He said calling the Japanese emperor the son of a key war criminal was meant to emphasize the need to have a sincere apology from the leader. As for Japan's demand that he withdraw the remark and apologize for it, Moon responded that he had just spoken out his opinion and the matter does not merit his apology. Diplomats believe the Abe administration's overreaction to the Korean speaker's interview is driven largely by the Japanese politician's attempt to play down negative issues, such as the failure of Abenomics and the statistics scandal, and unify his supporters ahead of the local elections in April and the upper house race in July.